also I live in a little neighborhood called Rexdale, a little bit on the west end of Toronto. A little rougher on the edges, you know, violence and drugs and all of this in one little neighborhood. My name is Miguel Latigar. People call me Miguel or Migs, even Migo sometimes. It's a weird, it's a weird street name that I have. Really photography to me is self-expression. Uh, you express your, your feelings. If you're feeling depressed and you're motivated by that, then you know, why not, you know, take photos of it. That has a sad feeling to it. Or if you're feeling happy, then you could control that as well. You know, like sometimes you just might want a casual photo of somebody, but you could definitely put a story behind the photo. You know, like they say, like photos worth a thousand words. I've always been into art. I got into OCAD, but I had to turn that down because of financial problems. I just recently got back into it. It's only been one year since I started. I was always messing around with a camera. I used to have like an old DSLR camera and I never really knew how to use it. So I just got into it slowly, slowly, and then just developed a crazy amount of passion about it. I didn't really start it for anything with money. I started it because I loved it and I don't ever want to lose that. You know, like if I see an old car or like a, like an old diner, I, I'm going to shoot it. I don't want that spice of it to go away where that doesn't even excite me anymore. Regularly, from my nine to five job, I'm a mechanic. On the weekends, I go downtown and get my film developed. It usually takes about two to three hours. I take that time to just walk around, take photos, enjoy my time, have a coffee somewhere, pick up my photos, then go back home. I scan my own negatives. So I spend that burning out the whole midnight oil. The COVID thing for me is a good thing because I'm slowly easing into it. Not a lot of people are outside, so I can do whatever it is that I want outside and take photos of whatever I want. So it's slowly building on my confidence just so that when things open back up again, I'm ready to go to wherever and whoever needs a photo shoot for me. But uh, yeah, that thing definitely keeping inspired and motivated is the toughest things I've dealt with. Usually you'll watch a lot, a lot of movies, you know, just to keep inspired and be like, whoa, well, I would want to do something like that. You know, just the lighting of it, you try to study it, it's like you try to mimic it in your own way. I'm definitely a big Tarantino fan. Definitely Kill Bill. I love the way he shot Pulp Fiction. There's also another one, it's Kodachrome. It's based on Kodachrome film for film cameras. Some beautiful, beautiful visuals and great soundtracks, jazz, I love jazz. And there's another movie that just came out with Zendaya. It was, it was in black and white. I fell in love with it. It's uh, Malcolm and Marie. It definitely, I definitely have to do a shoot with a couple now with it, black and white. So I take a lot of inspiration from a lot of arts and paintings, just because how painters try to paint a photo. So as a photographer, I try to paint with my lens. My environment and the world out there is my canvas. Everybody has their own taste. Um, you know, that's like, that's why I call it art. It's not really a photography. You know, I'm an artist pretty much because you have your own perception of what looks good to you. 
I may just be shooting film or I may just be shooting digital, but I'm not gonna talk down on others just because they don't shoot what I shoot. It's it's still an amazing photo. You know, maybe that's not the way I would have done it, but it's what they think that looks good. Your ideas has already been done by a lot of people. It's just what makes it you and like the smallest details. Because, you know, like if there's a small detail that people realize is like, yes, that photo is shot by Miguel and like that one's not by Miguel, you know? I definitely want to work on it full time. Hopefully quit my nine to five job just because, you know, why would I not? I want to do something I really, really love for the rest of my life and, you know, not including the financial of things. I definitely do think that it brings me peace and happiness every time I hold my camera. Just all of the bullshit outside in the world just goes away.